uh, today I am going to record or uh, today I am going to explain what is VSTS, how we will use VSTS for performance testing and what are the components in that and how web test and road test looks like. So for that what I can do is I have already installed the Visual Studio 2017 in my PC. So I have opened that, go to the programs and Visual Studio 2017. So in the basically we will create new project in that you have created the web test so what i can do is i will already create a project so i will open the existing project and uh, i will show how it's subscribe so this is the uh, existing uh, web test that i have created so when you see this uh, the VSTS script basically looks like this. So in this there are different components in there. What are this LRI? This is the comment and this is the transactions. And you can give a comments and transactions in that script. So if you want to run the script, what you can do is so here there are different tabs. This is the script tab. Solution Explorer and one more tab is there here. This is the output window. So what I can do is now I want to run the test. So whenever you click on run the test, what you can do is it will open a new window. One minute, it's in progress. This is the front tab. So basically you can see different type of options see there tabs status total time request time request bytes and response bytes status you know it is http status whether it is a pass or fail 400 403 500 503 or 200 this type of status that you will see in this status step total time is its response time in seconds not a milliseconds so there are different tabs is here web browser request request is general basically whatever the request that you are passing what is the response and what is the contest contest you can also see that the test results details and details details tab suppose if any error is occurred you can see the error details in the details tab so this is basically the web test so this is a solution explorer you can see the web test suppose if you want to create a new load test what you can do is go to add create new load test so there are two types of crowd based and on premise now i will explain the on premise so i will give the time duration time is two minutes scenario new scenario you can give the thing time if you want are facing a uh, constant users I have given the three users and click on next based on the number of tests so here you can add that particular test just you will drag down here click on next you will give the different network type and you can set the different browsers finally click on finish once you click on finish the road test window will be happier like this so after you ran the road test you can get the results from the database as i already said so the setting option is available here storage type where you can save the road test results database means you can configure the secrets express to this road test file. none means nothing so you have to configure that manage test controller in the section you have given that secrets of express name so once you configure that there is a new database will be created in that sequence express tab so now what i can do is i will run the load test just observe what it can do so run for two minutes only just use a demo purpose or whatever so i will give you a brief time details in my another video so 
this this uh, it will it is run it will run for two minutes not more than that <coughs> just up there so there are different tabs like the graphs tables graphs you can see the different type of graphs counters and tables you can see the different tables tables errors what are the errors that you are getting and request so you can see what type of method it is this is the total number of requests response time and transactions this is a transaction response time pages So just observe what it can do. So we got two errors. What is that? The performance counter memory cannot be accessed. So we have not because we have this proper mark, but while uh, creating a road test I have not given this property that's why it will be an error it is not an error so let's ignore it just observe that what is road test So writing results to the repository as I already said that where the protest results save basically it is a database as we have configured this is the output window that we have seen so now you want to verify the database so go to this database I have installed the SQL Server Management Studio so as I already said that road test 2010 table is there now I have on the table and also open some queries the queries these are SQL queries so in that you have login into that connect once you log in it, you will go to the road test 2010 to database One minute. I'll close it again. I will open this management studio. In the management studio, you have verified the queries, or you will get the result in that. you can select the database so you can verify the database here 2010 so now I want to fetch the data is right so waste one minute So basically you will get the road test run ID. Based on that run ID you will get the details. So this is basically the road test and web test and performance test. Based is performance test. Thank you. Thank you users. Please subscribe if you like it. Subscribe or like. Thank you. Please subscribe this video. Thank you. Thank you.